Hey guys, Alan Hain here, the Lawn Care Nut, with another lawn tip. Now today I'm gonna go ahead and reveal to you what my personal lawn care regimen is, my fertilizing habits or my lawn treatment program that I do at my lawn. So a lot of you have watched, and I'll link below to this, a lot of you have watched my step-by-step -step yearly lawn care program that I did uh, last year, and uh, it works really, really well. And that's gonna be for those of you who have a lawn that is not in good shape, you got a lot of weeds and things like that, and you really need to get the lawn boosted and get it thick and healthy. But once you get to that point, that's what a lot of people ask me, okay, Alan, so I've used your program now, my lawn looks great, where do I go next? So guys, this is exactly what I do to the lawn every single year. Now, start time and end time is gonna be a little bit different depending on where you live and how your winter works and how late your winter is. So you gotta kinda use your mind here a little better, use your brain and understand what I'm talking about. But it's basically this, four applications per year of Melorganite. That's full strength, each application, 15 pounds per 1,000 square feet according to label directions. I do two in the spring, so I do one pretty much as soon as the snow's gone and the ground is not frozen anymore. I do the first one, I do the second one four to five weeks later. Then I'll do the third one on July 4th, almost every single year, I put it on July 4th, it's my thing, and then I'll do one more in the fall. And usually I'm gonna play that one by ear a little bit, but we're usually gonna look at late September, early October. Now, if you want an extra boost, I'll do this about every other year. Um, right in the spring, I will also put down a full strength application of Ringer Organic Fertilizer right on top of the uh, Melorganite. So that's typically gonna be that second application of the year around that uh, April, May time zone. That's just gonna give you an extra boost to the soil. Now, in addition to that, I'm gonna go ahead and aerate every single year in the fall, core aeration, I'll link below to tell you what that does. And I do that every year without fail. That manages the thatch layer. A lot of people ask me about thatch. Listen, if you are aerating your lawn every single year and you're watering properly during the year, your thatch layer should be controlled with aeration alone. Uh, in the spring every year, I do hand rake. I don't dethatch. I do hand rake though, any dead areas. My turf type tall fescue does tend to get some dead spots from the winter because I'm a little bit far north for this grass type. So I do have to do quite a bit of hand raking every year, but that's fine. That's just part of uh, natural selection, if you will. Um, so that's another important Lastly, piece. Lastly, I mow tall. I mow three and a half, even four inches. I typically will mow four inches almost all year long. And when I water, I water deep. Deep and infrequent watering, and I'll link below to how to water your lawn. So that is my exact regimen that I go through. That's why my lawn looks the way it does. It's beautiful, it's thick, it's healthy, and it resists almost all problems. That's the key, is a healthy, thick lawn will resist all of these other problems that unhealthy lawns have. Always remember, a healthy lawn starts with the soil. Healthy soil equals a healthy lawn. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. I hope this has helped you, and as always, I will see you in the lawn.